So we're in Manassa. Mission details, 2100. Board a light submarine in the Hoffman Island city of Men Menasa, Oceana. Oh yeah, that's that's who we are. We're the Oceana Cooperative Union Territory. Oceana Cooperative Union, okay. And then rendezvous at waypoint, 30 clicks offshore of Fort Mondas, UCS Territory. Transfer to camouflage cargo ship and proceed to the landing point. Commence covert reconnaissance operation of UCS manufacturing facilities in the Lazarus district. In light of recent tension between the two nations, you are prohibited from engaging any hostile actions towards UCS units you may encounter. Gee, hopefully this isn't a big setup or something. Nah. What's the chances of that happening? This is Rabbit One. I've reached the recon point. How does it look? It's quiet. Too quiet. Maybe. I don't see anyone. I like the way she's out there on her own. Be careful, Karen. Don't worry, Royd. I'll be fine. Lieutenant is a capable of uh, is a capable soldier, Captain. I know you two are engaged, but you should not worry yourself so. Uh, and again, see just. <laughs> the story nonsense. Yes, I know, thanks. Now, I'll clear the comms. Apologies, Captain. But I have to wonder. Why go to all this trouble violating the treaty, even to recon this run-down factory? All I can say is, this is part of someone's agenda, and I don't like it. Oh, how right you are, Royd. Th this factory. What's wrong, Karen? I, I can't believe they... This 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 isn't right. Karen, report. Well, there's a surprise. Enemy Wanzers, but how? Why didn't we pick them up earlier? We have to get Karen out of there. We're going in. You got it, boss. Driscoll. You're right on time. Now, let's see how well they've trained you. Yep, I'm just going to touch the controls again. Right, so our future wife is in a little bit of bother, so let's head in. It's going to go straight in. Damn the torpedoes. But she is completely outgunned her. I I'm surrounded. Oh, well done. A new pilot's first reaction to incoming fire. Is to cover their eye camera, not the torso where the cockpit is. Alas, that valiant effort will be in vain. Driscoll. You scum. Oof. It's not going well for her, is it? Karen, hang on. Roy, no, stay back. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity of it all. I don't know why she was literally sent in on her own and we were just like, I don't know, jerking off back here. Seems kind of weird, really. Yep, oh, she's dead. Karen? Karen! Remember, we're not supposed to be doing any of this shooty-shooty-bang-bang. Because, bang. you know, that's how wars start. But then, technically, we're snooping around on their territory anyway, so... You know, who's really at fault here? Come get some. Let's get the pap. Ooh. Didn't like that. These are just weak before the scythe. The enemies are going to get quite a bit tougher as the game goes on. Uh, what do you have? What do we have? Do we have a bone? 
I actually do have a burn, but it's range. Range isn't fantastic. There we go, we can use it. Now, missiles are questionable. They have limited amounts of ammo. It, I mean, this apparently has an accuracy of 76%, but yeah, missiles definitely miss, or at least seem to miss more often than they hit. You'll pay for this. That actually didn't do too bad. Now, every time we fire a weapon, we will get um, that experience that pops up. That goes on to that weapon. And the maximum experience is 9999 for each skill. And apparently, the higher that skill goes, the better you get at that weapon. But, uh, I mean, if you say so. I, I haven't found it really makes too much difference. Uh, obviously, we do get better weapons. With just generally better stats later on. Now, you do unlock skills for your pilots as well. And skills make a big difference. So, we've got just generic soldier names at the moment. Oof. Rocked us with that missile. That's okay. Defend yourself. Nice. Now, the more damage you actually inflict with your attack, the more experience you get. And when I say damage, I mean the more components you actually damage. The more um, components you break on the mech, the more uh, experience you get. It's odd because certain weapons only attack like one point. Yeah, it, this experience system is a bit weird. Right, he's a missiler, so this is a long range enemy. So we're just going to engage him at close range. So he's only got a punch. So if we do destroy his missile launcher, he's kind of boned. Now, Ryuji has a rifle. Rifle only fires one shot, as opposed to an automatic weapon that fires multiple shots. Oh, this is just the unnamed soldier. Does he actually have any... Oh, he's got repairs on him. Yeah, we'll repair. Um, so, it's kind of a pain when that misses, to be honest. When that one shot misses. But if it hits, it does significantly more damage. I mean, quite often, uh, a rifle is enough to take out an enemy uh, Wanza, if you get a lucky hit, anyway. And then sometimes... I mean, we've disarmed him now. He has no arms left. And if you're thinking, gee, does that mean he's useless on the battlefield? You'd be right. As you can see, Driscoll is not moving in. Shat, this stage of the game is probably for the best. Well, we're trying to bring this guy down. <sighs> Oh, there we go. Not bad, Ryu. G. Not bad. This should be enough. Now to cleanse this place with righteous fire. What? Captain, stand back. Oof. So. June 3rd, 2090. Uh, the Lacrosse incident. The Unified Continental States publicly accused the Oceana blah 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 of sending Wanzas on a mission to destroy... Oh, that just goes way too quickly. You're just going to have to read it yourselves. Basically, we got accused of starting a fight because we're snooping around in their territory. And even though they attacked us, technically we shouldn't have been there. Thus, this kicks off another war. The Wanza pilots who were present at the site of the Lazarus incident were reclassified as MIA during exercise. Aside from a handful of top-level army officials, only these pilots have any knowledge of the actual events that occurred in Lazarus. A year after the Lazarus incident, uh, 
in the oh, bloody cat's trying to get in the door uh, in the Brynedden district of Huffman Island, OCU territory. So this is a year later. Cat, seriously. Ugh. You can open that door. You're just being a bell end. Arena manager, you're up next. Get in your wanza. I hear you. I know you're on a winning streak, but losing a couple here and there is better for business, you know? Man in shades. Royd Clive, we need to talk. Didn't you see the sign on the door? Authorised personnel only. Get the hell out. Hold on. Who are you? Come on, it's your turn on the arena floor, Royd. Hurry up and get down there. Go on, I'll speak with you later. And now the night's main event. Hot on a 12 match winning streak. Royd Hellspawn Clive versus Jack. Crimson Sutherland. Let the games begin. So this is the arena. You can actually do this to earn money and rank up. It entirely kind of... I don't know if I'd say it breaks the game, but it's kind of important. So this is all the arena is. And in this particular battle here, it is 50-50 whether you win. Let's just go for the Raptor. This is total, total luck if you actually win here. Well, we're off to a good start. Ooh. So we're down to our rocket launcher or our punch. We've just lost our primary weapon. Let's hit him with the rocket. If we can. Ooh, nice. We got him. Eight experience. Not bad. Congratulations, you've won the match. Nicely done. Glad I didn't go through all of this trouble for nothing. My name is Olsen. I'm in command of the Canyon Crows Mercenary Group, affiliated with the OCU Army. They're using mercs now? That's right. Just between you and me, the OCU is losing. Bad. The Army refuses to admit that. It couldn't slug its way out of a wet paper bag. And we need mercenaries. Real soldiers. Like you, Roy. So you've come to recruit me. You're fast on the draw. Yes, I want you to work for me. I want you to lead the crows. I'm not going back to the army. Not even to avenge Karen's death? What? What do you know about that? Everything a man in my position has to do is homework. You were in the Lacarus or yeah, Lacarus at the time of the infamous incident when Karen was KIA by UCS forces. You were unceremoniously discharged. Your records and your very existence deleted from the OCU databanks. And you've spent the last year drifting from one town to the next, earning your pay as an arena prize fighter in dumps like this. Huh. Come with me, and you'll get the chance to find the man who killed Karen. That's the least I, uh, you can do for her, don't you think? Olsen, you piece of shit. Where, where do I sign? Good. Welcome to the Crows. There's a transport plane waiting for you at the airport that will take you to your first assignment. Visit my office in the military ward once you're ready, and take this thousand Huffman dollars. Should cover any Wanzer upgrades you might need. Alright, so we're now a, messes, uh, a, a, messesary? a mercenary, and we're in the uh, Brynden town. So, basically, the way the game works is we go to the military ward, we get a mission, we go do the mission, we come back to a town like this. And when we're here, we can check out like our um, pilot status, we're level 1, we're basically useless, uh, the items that we have on our vehicle. We can go to the arena and we can fight in the arena. We got a grand. Um, and we only have Royd. So let's have a look. And you can see the odds of us winning down here. So for instance, if we fight Demon, our odds of winning are 10.40. That means we're not going to win. There's, there is no chance. Um, the arena starts off very, very, very one-sided. Uh, I mean, even that 1.4 there, I 
very much doubt we're going to be able to win against anybody. As we improve, the odds go down. But what that basically means is, say we fight this guy, um, we will get our money back plus 46%. So if we bet that, we'll probably we, we really won't make a lot at all. Um, you know what? Let's throw our hand in the in in the ring though, and let's see if we can actually win. Uh, yeah, I guess we just save it anyway. Really, right? So let's go for the arena. The arena does start off seeming like a really bad deal and like borderline impossible to win. But, it is kind of worth it. Because upgrades in this game do become horrendously, and I do mean horrendously, expensive. Right, start for the Raptor. Alright, we can win against this guy. But he does hurt. He's done. We only got four experience for that though, which kind of sucks. And as you can see, we won our money back plus 138. So let's run him again. Yeah, we can beat this guy quite easily. Once your guys start getting to level 25, level 30, they're kind of unstoppable, really. Okay. So, with that out of the way... We will be spending a lot of time in the shop. What can I do for you today? So, we can buy, sell, and talk. Select buy to purchase items. Press the X button whilst you shop if you want some pointers. Choose setup option if you want to compare your uh, current gear with the items in our stock. While in the setup mode, do we, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's just telling us how to use a shop. That's fine. So, we can... Basically, buy and sell, you know, through pretty obvious um, self-explanatory things, really. But you always just want to go to setup. Because that will take you to this garage here. Where we can select our vehicle. We only have one vehicle. Uh, and we can choose parts and weapons. And we also need to change the colour of our... Eh, let's have a look. Red... Do I have a decent looking red? Kind of. Not really. Yeah, unfortunately the colours aren't that great in this game. Um, just go with black is what I usually go with. Uh, so, we can upgrade our parts and our bodies. And we can upgrade, essentially, every different component, including the CPU... Uh, backpacks. We can't. We won't get backpacks for a while, but they just increase how much power we have, which allow us to have bigger, more powerful weapons. And then we have our weapons that we can upgrade. Now, I will be doing most of this upgrading on screen because it is a incredibly, incredibly slow uh, process. And when you have 17 um, guys to upgrade. And you have to individually select them, go to weapons, select what weapon you want to give them, buy it, go out, go to the next hand. And you have to do that 17 times per component, per part, per weapon. It takes a long, long time. So I think for now, we are just going to have a look, see if we can get any new body types. We can see the status down here, which is telling us that it's heavier. Heavy, uh, the weight is basically your power limit. You need more power to carry uh, heavier components. But generally, the heavier the components, the better armed they are. Now, defense and HP. Uh, HP is just how many hit points you have. Defense is, I don't know. I haven't really noticed it does a huge amount. And power is just how much juice that particular part um, produces. So, we're probably going to go with, to start off with, I prefer to go for heavier Wanzas with more defense. So, we're probably going to go with that bad boy. 
Now, what I generally do as well is I will keep all of my Wanzas the same. Because, you know, there's no point in this particular game in specking different soldiers. There's no point in having someone that focuses on rockets, someone that focuses on rifles, someone focuses on melee. I've seen some people do that, but the, in this one, the first game, there's no point. Just give everyone a couple of machine guns, rocket launchers, and that will get you through the game quite handily. So, as I say, I will be doing this off camera. We're probably going to go with the Zenith components over the Zora, maybe. Although, that does give us plus to accuracy. But it is a little bit... Yeah, let's go for that. Zora seems to be where it's at, actually. Zora. Legs. Now, legs can affect your mobility. Uh, but again, I generally just prefer to use the heaviest, biggest, most powerful legs. Which here... Probably... Well, that's... Yeah, I guess the Zora, then. Sure. CPU, um, I guess we already have that installed. It's probably the best for us right now. Now, weapons, we're going to go for... We have the Raptor equipped, which is interesting. Um, so that's a rifle. And the Siege. So the Raptor that we have equipped, I don't know. This is more accurate. This fires five shots that do two damage. So I'm guessing that's better. The, it's a little bit difficult when you're upgrading your uh, machine gun. Because it will say minus one. Because each shot does less damage. But most of the times the upgraded weapon fires more shots. So your damage overall is much higher. Uh, it's a bit weird like that. I think we'll throw in another one of these. We are running out of money, though. We can't actually get anything in our other shoulder, so... We'll just... Ah, oh, we don't, can't afford it. That's fine. We'll go with that. And anyway, guys, that's basically the game. We've been going for 43 minutes. I'm probably going to cut this one in half. <laughs> Definitely going to cut this one in half. So, right, let's give it a save. And when we come back, guys, we're going to carry on.